Oh no! Hey there, and welcome to the den. This is Raijin. Today we got in another Mezco goodness. Uh, I've been waiting over a year for this to drop. Um, so let's get her going. Nice black wrapping paper. Not wrapping paper, but bubbles. We know. Oof. Mezzets. There's a few things in here. So we got the mezzet. Got a little stinkle pin. Got Rumble City sticker. Stinkle sticker. Doc Nocturnal sticker. And that's it for that. All right, let's see what color this little sucker is this time. He's completely different this time. He's not a grub. He's got a skull. He's got a little, little Jason mask. And a chainsaw. Let's get him all geared up. There we go. Now he's ready to go terrorize. And of course we have the main feature. Constantine. Now, I'll be honest, my first exposure to Constantine was the movie with Keanu Reeves. In all that DC comic reading I've done, I never really come across him. I think that's because he was pretty much in Vertigo, and they didn't combine that until um, after I started reading, and after that movie and everything, I think. My remembrance of the timeline isn't perfect, so forgive me if, if I'm wrong on that. That's a gorgeous box art. So far, so good. And he even comes with instructions this time. Good to see. Okay, so the first tray. Ha 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 ha. All right. I wonder if I can tuck that in. I guess I really wouldn't want to. It's not really in the character, is it? I have to cut some strings off here and there. But that's just how it goes. Nope, that stays there. That's good. That's a really good face. Yeah. Uh, his next game will loose. I still need to get him on his Mezco body. But that's, that's pretty good. That's a nice height. That's a nice basic body in general. I wonder if it's the same one they use on like the Warriors, and uh, who else was it? Uh, like Harvey Dent and the others. They all used about the same basic body because I was looking on eBay for bodies for Raijin and saw those available, but yeah, that's nice. Okay, so. It comes with three other heads. We got the nice beat up and bloodied head. Got a good smirk. Got the smirking head. It looks like he's tired at all times, doesn't he? And a smirking beat up and bloodied head. So we got hands with cards in them. That's pretty cool. All the other hands. Open. Gripping, another gripping, uh, item holding, relaxed, slightly pointing, and another splay, not splayed, but relaxed. So all sorts of things there. Lighter, unopened and unlit. Lighter, open and lit. Ceremonial dagger. Shotgun. Rune covered sword, good size cross, three lit cigarettes, and the base for the stand. And the second tray, we got all the really good stuff. Holy. <laughs> Just a variety of cigarettes in different states. Three smoke trails, which I'm not sure what that goes on. Or what it could be used for. But I'll find out, I suppose. 
two fire effects, a pentagram effect, another magical symbol effect, small orange effect, small blue effect, I guess he plays portal too, huh? Medium blue effect, and medium orange effect. And of course, really nice chainsaw. Can't fight evil without that. That's a staple. We've also got the stand that goes on the base and his signature trench coat. Yeah. Oh, he's got the double joint on the neck. That's the good stuff right there. Every figure should have a ball joint on the base of the neck. Yeah, especially if you just have a dumbbell. But this has pretty good range. So, yeah, that's a, that's a really good body. All right, let's try some of these things out. Oh, okay, see, that's those little smoke trails are for. That's for him blowing smoke out. It's about like Agent Gomez's pants. A little tight, but still enough room for movement. Oh, you know what would have been really good? A uh, dark smoke effect to come out of the, uh, the chainsaw. Oh, no! Oof, yeah, that joint's loosening up. There we go. It looks like I have the correct hands. I think. Oh no, I guess not. And I just happen to have a stand right here. He really has very minimal range on his feet, though. That's kind of disappointing. And there he is. Floating and doing magics. Oh yeah, I like that better. I wish I started with that angle in the first place. Might as well match the angle that you're looking at it. That way you know how it's going to look in the camera. And you get the... A lot more here. Okay, well, lesson learned. But yeah. Yeah. That's nice. So I wish these worked better. Um, but still nice effects. And I see why they did it the way they did it. Uh, let's see how well this fits. One of the bit downsides of soft goods at this scale is that they can bunch up and prevent posing pretty easily. Um, if this is just like the previous ones though, like the one in the uh, cloth kit that I got last year, it shouldn't be too bad, but we'll find out. Yeah, with the sleeve being bunched up, that kind of gives me a little Concern. I wonder if we can unbunch those sleeves. Yes. Okay. Well, that'll help out. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Of course. One sleeve goes in nicely. The other sleeve just botches up. Okay. Well, it's through. So, yeah, I can already tell it's uh, bunching up the articulation. Probably because this sleeve isn't all the way through either. Oh, wow. This is even like Popeye, where Popeye has a small hole in the lip. You actually have to physically move the jaw down a little bit to part the lips on each one of these heads to get whatever effect you want in there. That's crazy. I'm really pulling down on that jaw. And you can see the hole. Can you see the hole? There we go. It's just... There we go. Huh. That takes a little bit of work, huh? 
Let's see if we've got a good cigarette holding hand. Yeah, so this trench coat is wired on the bottom edges, the inside edge. It's sewn up there, but the collar is also wired. There we go. That's really not a very good cigarette holding hand. I kind of want to say that you should be able to, judging by how they engineered the mouth, you should be able to pull apart the fingers a little bit too, but I don't see anywhere to do so safely. I mean, I guess that works. Hmm. All right. Because I ain't trying to break my nice new toy. Overall, quite, quite a nice figure. Yep. Can definitely see myself doing good stuff with this. Well, I guess that's it for for this session of the den. So, we'll catch you around.